Hello there. Welcome to Money Chakra Secrets. Get ready to manifest abundance in all areas of your life, especially your finances. In this chapter, we'll give you a little overview on what are chakras and the impact it has on money in our lives. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is chakra? Chakras can be simply explained as the energy centers that exist within our bodies. It's an old Sanskrit word that means wheel, describing the spinning movements of vital life force energy known as prana at these points. They are responsible for regulating physiological processes like the immune response, organ functions, as well as the psychological processes like our emotions and behavior in our body. There are seven major chakras. There is root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, and crown chakra. Each chakra is different. They have specific qualities which corresponds to the refinement of energy from the base level, the first six chakras, up to the higher vibration spirit level, awareness, the seventh chakra. The lower chakras, root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra are associated with core emotions and needs. And the upper chakras, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, and the crown chakra correspond to our higher mental and spiritual aspirations. Also, each have a specific color associated with it. Due to its energetic existence, the frequency of the vibrations it emits produces the different colors. The balanced flow of energy at these different energy points ensures that the body functions smoothly. However, a blockage or unbalanced flow of energy in any one of these energy points will cause health and or emotional problems. This leads to the inability to lead an abundant life. The main purpose in discovering our chakras is to learn how to master each chakra's essence and unite them all in a balanced energy field. Only then can we reunite all our detached inner elements to a higher consciousness of self-awareness. But how is this related to money? Well, as mentioned earlier, each chakra represents a certain part of our bodies and consciousness or behavior. So a disruption in balance in any one of these chakras will have an impact on either our health or emotional and behavioral states, which will impact the state of abundance in our lives, which includes our finances. For example, an imbalance in a certain chakra would result in a person's low self-confidence, which is crucial when it comes to making decisions and pursuing opportunities, which will affect his money-making potential. Hi there, welcome back. In the previous chapter, we went through a quick introduction on chakra. In this chapter, we'll help you understand more about the first chakra, root chakra. The root chakra is located at the perineum, which is the area between the genitals and the anus. It is represented by the color red. This is because it vibrates at a lower frequency. The root chakra is all about being physically there and having a sense of belonging in any given situation. It also corresponds to your survival instincts. If this chakra is active and balanced, you feel grounded, stable, and secure. You don't find it hard to put your trust in people. You'll feel present in your current being and feel connected and rooted to your physical body. On the other hand, if this chakra is inactive, you may feel inferior when it comes to your appearance, like your weight, height, or body shape. You may feel like you do not have control over your life. You feel that you're not good enough and easily feel unwelcomed. You are in a constant battle of fear and tension. If your root chakra is overactive, you get easily agitated by the slightest provocation. You might also be someone who is materialistic and be overcome by greed. This may result in addiction. Compulsive gamblers, drug addicts, alcoholics, video game addicts, as well as shopaholics are prime examples. So how does it impact our finances? Do you constantly feel bouts of anxiety, stress, or guilt over money? Is it difficult to handle your finances well? Or is it hard to accumulate material wealth? These issues may be caused by imbalances in the root chakra, which usually comes in the form of major insecurities about survival. And this includes financial security, as our basic needs in life are dependent on it. With an inactive root chakra, you will constantly feel insecure about your finances, even with a sizable income. 
you have an unhealthy obsession with money and feel the constant need to keep finding ways to earn more money and feel stressed when you don't. You face financial problems all the time. You'll feel stuck and sluggish, but yet your fear holds you back. You never feel like you are good enough, and this affects your drive to achieve what you want in life. With a balanced root chakra, however, you find more confidence in yourself as well as your ability to earn and manage your finances. You organize your finances well. You have enough for what you need and want in life. You are also more unlikely to have an unhealthy preoccupation with money or material things. So reading through this chapter, you may find that you may have some problems in this area. You can try these suggested steps to try to correct this particular energy center. Be close to the ground. You can choose to lie down on the ground or walk around in the dirt or grass barefooted. Another good way to do this also is to visualize roots extending from your feet to the center of the earth. Try physical exercise. You can do yoga, jogging, football, tai chi, or just a simple walk just as long as you are up and moving about. You can also incorporate more reds in your life. It can be your clothes, your house, or the items you use. Make an effort to consume more root vegetables as well as naturally red-colored foods such as meat, apples, beetroot, and tofu. Lastly, you can try meditation. It's a great way to help with chakra imbalances. One, first you seek out a quiet, comfortable place and sit or lie down. Two, visualize a glowing deep red light radiating from your root chakra and feel the pulsation of its warm radiance. Three, watch in your mind as the light becomes a glowing sphere and imagine a red four-petal lotus flower unfold. You may realize that you have trouble getting the sphere to spin or the flower to unfold itself, which is a sign of blockage. 4. Keep breathing intent and energy into the chakra until the sphere can spin easily and freely. 5. Proceed to send the energy of abundance throughout your entire body through the other chakras. Hello there and welcome back to Money Chakra Secrets. In the last chapter, we examined the root chakra. Today, we're going to look into the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is located slightly below the navel exactly four fingers down from our belly button. Its color is orange. This chakra corresponds to our emotional and sexual desires as well as our ego and creativity. When the sacral chakra is balanced, your feelings flow freely and you're not over-emotional in expressing them. You're open to intimacy and you are passionate. You are full of life and people love being around you as you bring very positive energy. Most important, you do not have any problems in expressing your sexuality. However, if your sacral chakra is inactive, it's hard for you to enjoy, live in the moment, and appreciate life. You tend to be stiff and unemotional and you always have your guard up. For example, when someone throws you a surprise birthday party, you'd feel indifferent or not know how to react. Ideally, you should be happy and thankful for the thoughts of others of you. Instead, it's hard for you to receive and open up. If your chakra is hyperactive, you tend to be overly emotional and overreact to even the most trivial things. People do not usually like to be around you as you are very unpredictable and can explode at any given time. If you have an overly active root chakra and a sacral chakra, you will find it extremely hard to accept rejection. You become too overly attached to other people, especially when it comes to romantic relationships. For instance, when your boyfriend or girlfriend chooses to break up with you, there is a high chance of you're trying to injure yourself or do something that will cause you harm. You think irrationally or you may not think at all when proceeding with a certain decision. Do you get sad or angry at the notion of money? Or are creative ideas hard to come by? Here's where we process our emotions around money so an inactive sacral chakra will result in negative emotions regarding money. A blockage right here also blocks the flow of creativity. Since creativity plays a major role in the manifestation of money, this becomes a hindrance. When the sacral chakra is balanced, you'll naturally be able to seek out the opportunities available in the world around you. Since your flow of creativity is unrestrained, this will mean more money. Not only that, money will no longer trigger negative emotions in you. So how do we overcome this imbalance? Here are the ways you can. Go shake those hips. Latin or African dances or any other movement that involves shaking your hips 
are a great way to activate this chakra. Try out more water-related activities. Relaxing near or wading in open water sources such as rivers or the ocean is a good activity. Taking a warm, relaxing bath or even listening to sounds of flowing water can help. Also try drinking a lot of water and eating more orange-colored foods such as oranges, cinnamon, and papaya. Make your life more orange. It can be your clothing or the items you own. Like all other chakras, meditation is a practice that helps greatly, which is why you should incorporate it in your daily life routine. 1. Visualize an orange lotus or crescent moon at the area of the sacral chakra, slightly below the navel. 2. Breathe deeply while keeping the image in your mind for a few minutes. Hi there, welcome back again. Last chapter we explored the sacral chakra and its financial implications. Today, however, we will look into the solar plexus chakra. This chakra is located at the center of the body, at the same level with our stomach. This is where the physical energy is distributed. It is represented by the color yellow and has a higher vibrating frequency than the sacral chakra. The solar plexus chakra corresponds to your feelings when you are with groups of people. It's responsible for the development of relationships of all kinds, such as romantic relationships, friendships, and family. This chakra also represents your individuality, self-esteem, and how you stand up for what you believe in in the presence of others. It's the center for unrefined emotions as well as personal power. This here is where we develop a sense of self and outward sense of others. An inactive solar plexus chakra will cause you to have very low self-esteem. You find it hard to acknowledge your own self-worth. You feel useless and powerless, especially when you are under pressure. This ends up with you saying yes to things you do not believe in. Let's say you're assigned a project with your colleague. For the project, you come up with all the ideas and did most of the work. Your boss asks who came up with the concept and your colleague takes all the credit. You really want to speak up and tell the truth, but you don't know how. You're afraid of conflict, so you just keep quiet. So your boss offers your partner a promotion and you end up missing a golden opportunity. You then feel depressed and disappointed, and this incident adds on to your feeling of unworthiness, and the cycle just continues. On the other hand, if your solar plexus chakra is overreactive, then you become a very dominating person and would want to control everything. Your personality can be likened to that of a dictator. In the workplace, you'll be perceived as a very stubborn and controlling leader. It's highly likely that your subordinates will feel pressured and stressed when working under your supervision. Do you find that you have to put in an extra amount of effort and hard work in order to earn money? Or do you have low self-esteem and lack the drive to get what you want? Your solar plexus chakra may be blocked or imbalanced. A blockage or imbalance in this particular chakra will manifest in the form of low self-confidence, which is crucial when it comes to making decisions, taking advantage of opportunities, and also making money. You'll also find that it's hard to save money. When this particular energy center is balanced, your finances will improve and you'll become a money magnet as you attract customers as well as close deals in your business if you own one. Not only that, you feel more confident, you possess the willpower and drive to take action and make decisions. You'll have the ability to manifest what you want, and this includes money. So now that we've brought you through the solar plexus chakra and its potential effects on your money, you may have realized that you do have imbalance or blockage issues that you need to address. These steps will help you restore balance to your chakra. Go on out and soak in the sun's rays. It's good for you, since the solar plexus chakra is represented by fire. It's only logical that being in the sun has tremendous chakra healing powers. Go outdoors in the afternoon sun. Let go of the victim mentality. It helps knowing that you're not powerless. It takes a lot of energy to play the victim and maintain that facade. Explore what it feels like to say no and step up to claim responsibility and power over your life. Let go of the unhealthy attachments you have. Unhealthy attachments are a cause for chakra blockage and energy stagnation. Ask yourself if a certain object, belief, memory, desire is doing yourself any good and acknowledge it is. Then let go. Take care of yourself. Change up your regular routine and start trying new things. 
An example of change in routine would be waking up a little earlier in the morning to exercise before heading to work. Sticking to safe routines will only sustain feelings of powerlessness within you. By stepping up your routine, you will not rely so much in your natural source of confidence and the energy of self-belief, but instead be forced to get out there and be yourself and to also focus on action, which will help you grow your confidence. Cut off people who criticize and belittle you from your life. Instead, only surround yourself with people who will support you and help you grow. Also know that you have the power within you. It's up to you to decide on the people who will stay or leave in your life. Take care of yourself every single day, psychologically as well as physically. Identify and address areas in your physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual health that you've been neglecting. A healthy level of self-esteem is essential for a balanced solar plexus chakra. So take care of yourself. It's a form of self-respect and self-love. Lighten up. Laugh at yourself. The greatest source of strength and power within all of us out there is being able to find humor in the most unlikely moments in life, especially during our darkest and lowest moments. Freedom is found in finding humor in life. Don't take life so seriously. You'll only disconnect yourself from your source of power. 4. The food you eat. Complex carbohydrates like whole grains such as rice are good to balance out the solar plexus chakra. They provide a sustained supply of energy. Spices such as turmeric and ginger are also good energy sources. They provide a heating element to your body. Not only that, naturally yellow foods such as bananas, corn, and pineapples are great. 5. Surround yourself in yellow. Wear yellow clothing. Keep yellow decorations around the house. These practices will help you with your chakra. 6. Meditation. Focus on the area where your solar plexus chakra resides, the upper abdomen, and visualize a glowing yellow sphere. Slowly concentrate on making it bigger while it rotates. That area will feel warmer and more relaxed. Do these for a few minutes, then let the energy dissipate and take a few breaths, after which you should open your eyes. Hello and welcome back. In this module, you'll learn about the heart chakra and how it shapes your perception towards money. The heart chakra is located at the center of the chest or specifically at the heart. Green represents this energy level and it vibrates at a higher frequency in comparison to the solar plexus chakra. The heart chakra corresponds to love, kindness, spiritual growth, compassion and devotion. It's the bridge connecting the higher and lower energies of our being. It balances your emotions. When your heart chakra is balanced, you're compassionate and kind, where you will be committed to maintain a harmonious relationship with others. For instance, you avoid conflict and it's easy for you to get along with other people. In contrast, when it's underactive, you're distant with people around you, where you'll end up being cold and mean to them. For instance, you don't like intimacy and you refuse to help those in need as you feel burdened. You'll refuse to aid anyone without further consideration. When the heart chakra is hyperactive, you tend to become a foolish person and your excessive love for others may suffocate and cause pressure to them. You don't know your own boundaries and you'll want to love others your way. For example, in the context of a romantic relationship, if your heart chakra is too active, you tend to control your boyfriend or girlfriend's activities and whereabouts each and every day. This, no doubt, invades their own personal space and time where it shows how you overthink things and controlling every single move that they make. When it concerns the heart chakra, there can be two extremes and sometimes too much of anything is not always good. For instance, yes, you have to be compassionate to others, but that doesn't mean you should say yes to each and every person who deems your help. In contrary, some people may not care at all or have compassion for others. Needless to say, they'll completely ignore others if they're in need of help regardless if it's a friend or a stranger. Therefore, it's important for your heart chakra to be balanced or it'll result in two extreme conditions. Your money chakra. In the context of money or financial situations, the heart chakra plays a significant role in shaping how you feel about money. It also corresponds to the feeling of worthiness in attaining the money. When the heart chakra is blocked or inactive, you'll feel that money is hard to achieve. There's also a tendency to feel that money is the root of evil where it may lead to negative consequences in your life. This can be greed, ungratefulness, as well as selfishness. 
When you feel money is hard to achieve, you can't seem to find any possible solution to make money happen, where in reality there are infinite number of possible ways to make your financial situation better. You may also feel that money is the root of all evil, where people who are rich or are born with a silver spoon in their mouths are all greedy and selfish. Therefore, you do not want to be associated with money. However, if your heart chakra is balanced and active, you feel that money is a powerful medium to achieve and manifest your goals in life. It acts as a tool for you to do what you love. For instance, if you love traveling the world, then money can make it happen for you. You achieve a stable financial status and it will also be easy for you to attract the money as well as the amount you want in order to do what you love. The Solution there are several solutions you can take in order to activate and balance your heart chakra. First is through different activities. Meditation. Schedule a regular time to do what you love. Follow your dreams and desires. The food you consume. Meditation. Sit down in a quiet and comfortable place and then close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths to calm you down. Place both of your palms on your heart. Imagine a beautiful green flower opening from a tight bud to a full bloom. Schedule a regular time to do what you love. Commit to doing what you love. This can be your passion projects or your hobbies, such as baking, volunteering, or hiking. Set a schedule to make sure you adhere to the time and you make time for it no matter how busy you are. Follow your dreams and desires. Don't let your dreams die just because you don't have time to realize them. Make time and work on them consistently. This could be having that dream house, or it can even be building a business you've always wanted. The food you consume. As the heart chakra is represented by the color green, green leafy vegetables can help in balancing the energies. This may include kale, lettuces, spinach, bok choy, broccoli, and many more. The heart chakra is all about balance and green veggies are neither yin nor yang in traditional medicine. Therefore, they maintain a perfect equilibrium that is essential to this chakra. Hey there, and welcome back. In this chapter, you'll learn about the throat chakra and how it affects your money habits. The throat chakra is located at the throat and is represented by a light blue color. It vibrates at a higher frequency as compared to the heart chakra. The throat chakra is mainly the center for conversation, self-expression, and creativity. This is where your inner voice or your own truth is expressed. This chakra also corresponds to diplomacy, your relationship with others as well as detachment. When your throat chakra is balanced and active, you willingly express yourself and are not restricted to do so. You express your opinions freely and aren't afraid of what others may think of you. However, when it's inactive, you tend to shy away from expressing yourself as well as your creativity. This often leads to untapped talent and not unleashing your true potential. For instance, you're required to attend a meeting. During the discussion, your boss asks for everyone's opinion on whether the office should open up a new branch at a different state. Most of your colleagues don't favor the idea as some of them would need to be transferred to the new branch. But for you, you think it's an excellent opportunity to grow the business and learn new things. However, because you're too afraid to express your thoughts and how you really feel, your boss dismisses the idea. Many people have the idea that people who have a very inactive throat chakra are only the shy and introverted types. This isn't true. Inactivity of the throat chakra can also be associated with those who speak up and are fluent in their speeches, but they rarely speak the truth. Therefore, the inactivity of the throat chakra can be understood in two perspectives. First, referring to those who are unable to express themselves, and second, those who do not speak the truth. What happens when you have a hyperactive throat chakra? You tend to have too much to share and control the conversation in a negative way. It can also cause you to not think before you speak, and sometimes your words may come across as offensive to others. And as a result, people will try and avoid you as you're not a good listener. Your money chakra. In the context of money or financial situations, the throat chakra plays a significant role in speaking your truth and worth. There are many ways that a blocked throat chakra can manifest its way to money challenges. First, a blocked throat chakra will stop you from communicating what you deserve or speaking your truth. For instance, you're uncomfortable in asking your manager for a salary raise that you really deserve. 
This also applies in the context of lending money to other people. You may be afraid to ask the person to pay back the money they borrowed from you. You are not honoring yourself by speaking up. There are also circumstances where you'll be needing financial assistance but you're too afraid to do so and you think too much of what others may think of you. This happens when your throat chakra is blocked and you're afraid to confess on your money mistakes. However, when your throat chakra is balanced and active, you're able to communicate your worth and problems in regards to money. You'll ask for your deserved raise, the money people owe you, as well as not afraid to talk about the financial problems you're facing. You're not afraid to speak your truth and recognize your worth. The Solution There are several solutions you can take in order to activate and balance your throat chakra. First is through different activities. Sing whenever and wherever you feel comfortable. Be open and honest with those around you. Learn to say no kindly and firmly. Plus the food you consume. Sing whenever or wherever you feel comfortable. You can sing in the car, when you're doing your laundry, in the shower, or wherever you feel like it. Be open and honest with those around you. Speak the truth and only the truth. Do not trade your authenticity for the sake of approval of others. Be yourself, and it's important to be genuine in everything you do. Learn to say no kindly and firmly. If you find yourself in a situation where people are forcing you to do things against your principles, you have to learn how to say no. It's hard sometimes to do, especially with people who are close to you, but if you say yes all the time, you're compromising your own truth and standards. The food you consume. As the color blue represents this chakra, blue food, such as blueberries, will encourage expression. Fruits work well to balance this chakra, especially fruits that grow on trees, such as apples, pears, peaches, apricots, and plums. The reason being is, symbolically, these fruits are said to be true to themselves. They only fall off the tree when they are ready and ripe. Welcome back. In this chapter, you learn about the third eye chakra and how it shapes your money perceptions and habits. The third eye chakra is located between the eyebrows. The chakra is represented by the color indigo. The energy vibrates at a higher frequency than the throat chakra. When you have an actively balanced third eye chakra, it corresponds with your spiritual awakening. You also tend to have good intuition and you dare to achieve your goals. We usually associate people who have good intuition of having the sixth sense. These people will usually give you advice on certain issues. For example, they may say you should not trust a person or work with him as he or she is trying to take advantage of you. It turns out that their advice was really worth taking as the incident really came true. If your third eye chakra is inactive, you tend to depend on authority rather than instinct to make your own decisions. You may also have deluded thoughts. This also results in your being too dependent on conventional beliefs rather than rationale. People with a very weak third eye chakra are also very weak in visualizing and organizing their lives. For instance, if you were to ask them how do they see themselves in a matter of five years, it's highly unlikely that they can answer this question as they are unable to visualize their future. However, when your chakra is overactive, you may live in your own world and you always overthink. In extreme cases, this may lead to hallucinations where you create problems that were not even there in the first place. Your money chakra. When your third eye chakra is blocked, it will be hard for you to visualize yourself owning more money. You're also unable to foresee what you're able to do with the money you have, which includes helping others in need. The most common reason for this blockage is because you always see the world through other people's opinions as well as beliefs. You're easily influenced by other people's outlook. For instance, some people may have a perception that money and wealth will only shape you into a greedy and selfish person. When your third eye chakra is blocked, this is when you believe each and everything that people tell you without rationalizing. As a result, you stay away from money as well as having a bad perception towards people working towards it. This will only create confusion because it's not your truth. When you have a healthy third eye chakra in regards to money, you'll be able to mentally visualize the opportunities that money brings to you. You are able to spend it wisely by achieving your dreams, helping those in need, and donating more to charity. The Solution There are several solutions you can take in order to activate or balance your third eye chakra. 
Firstly, is through different activities. Listen more carefully and attentively when you're engaged in a conversation. Try engaging with the energy of those around you. Praise and credit yourself for correct intuitions, the food you consume. Listen more carefully and attentively when you are engaged in a conversation. When you engage in a conversation, ensure you take the time to listen attentively as there may be hidden messages which may shape or influence your truth. Try engaging with the energy of those around you. Try and feel the energy around you. Are they emitting a positive or negative energy, and if so, why? Understand the reasons. 3. Praise and credit yourself for correct intuitions. Always trust your intuition, especially in making decisions. When you're right, credit yourself for it. This means you're in tune with your third eye chakra and you know the truth. The food you consume. There are several foods you can consume to balance and activate your third eye chakra. As the chakra is represented by the color indigo, fruits such as blackberries, plums, and grapes are effective in balancing your hormones and intuitions. You may also consume yam as well as purple cabbage. Hello and welcome back. In this module, we learn about the crown chakra and how it affects your money-making habits. The crown chakra is located at the top of the head. It's represented by the color purple and is vibrating at a higher frequency as compared to the third eye chakra. It's also the energy with the highest frequency vibration among the seven major chakras. The crown chakra represents the highest level of consciousness, knowledge, and wisdom as well as your sense of the world as a whole. It's the connective center to your spiritual being. The chakra integrates all the seven chakras with their respective qualities and characteristics. When you have an actively balanced crown chakra, you have full awareness of your emotional as well as spiritual being. You're also aware of the world and its existence. You're not prejudiced and you are an excellent learner as you love to regard your experiences as new lessons in life. Therefore, you're able to pick up new lessons effortlessly. For instance, when your boss needs you to take charge of a field relatively new to you, you see it as an opportunity to grow. You also have no problem to adapt as you are a fast learner. However, if your chakra is inactive, it's quite hard for you to acknowledge and be aware of the spiritual world. You also have a hard time picking up new things. Another indicator is that you're unable to think clearly when you're under stress or pressure. For example, if you're asked to make a decision, and you have difficulty doing so. You are indecisive and it's hard for you to decide when you are under pressure. When your crown chakra is hyperactive, you tend to overthink a lot. You can't let things go easily and you create problems in your head that were not there in the first place. You're over enthusiastic and chasing the spiritual world that you neglect what your body really needs. This may result in depression and anxiety as you are constantly thinking of what could happen and what might happen. You are not facing reality. As the crown chakra is associated with knowledge and wisdom, many people disregard the fact that there needs to be a balance in whatever they pursue. Thirst for knowledge and learning new things are positive things to adopt, but when it becomes extreme, it may become the direct opposite. Let me give you an example. When a person has an overactive crown chakra, he or she has this underlying thirst for knowledge that they are willing to fly to any country to learn new lessons. They'll travel from one country to the next, disregarding the fact that it incurs a lot of cost. The situation worsens if they pay their expenses using credit cards and each and every time they choose to travel, they add more to their debt. Another example is because you want to achieve an inner balance of your spiritual being, you meditate for 24 hours, even though your body is already exhausted and you have not eaten. This will cause your health to deteriorate, and it will not help you to achieve your inner peace in the long run. Therefore, whatever it is that you choose to do, always remember striking a balance is key. Your money chakra. When your crown chakra is blocked, you constantly feel the need to seek approval from others in making any money moves. You're easily affected by other people's perception towards you. For instance, some people may say that money is the root of all evil. You'll be easily influenced by this, and this will affect your pursuit of making money and creating the life you want. Not only that, when your crown chakra is imbalanced, you'll be a slave to money. You're not in control of your money. Instead, it has control of you. You're overcome by greed, and you feel that you can't live without money. 
When you have a healthy crown chakra, you have a self-realization that you have permission to create as much money as you like, spend it the way you want. You acknowledge that you are not your money and you have control over it. What other people may say about money does not affect you. The Solution There are several solutions you can take in order to activate and balance your crown chakra. First is through different activities. Practice meditation. Read inspirational books on a daily basis. Include some peace and quiet into your daily routine. The herbs to balance your chakra. Practice meditation. Meditation gives you great calming effects. It also enhances your focus and helps you achieve positive energy flow. Practice meditation daily for only 10 minutes and you will see a big difference in yourself. Read inspirational books on a daily basis. Grab an inspirational book and try reading one chapter per day. The book can be from a public figure you adore or anyone you can relate to. Include some peace and quiet in your daily routine. Sometimes you get too overwhelmed with your hectic life and all you need is some time for yourself. Find a quiet place, go to your favorite coffee shop or your favorite park, and unwind. Herbs to balance your chakra. There are several herbs you can use to help balance your crown chakra. However, do note that these herbs are only to be ritually inhaled and not consumed. These herbs are sage, juniper, copal, frankincense, and myrrh. Welcome to the final chapter of the Money Chakra Secrets series. In this chapter, you realize your thoughts and perceptions manifest into your money habits and the affirmations you need to instill within yourself to be a money magnet. What you focus on expands. Whatever your perceptions are towards money will eventually manifest. Therefore, it's important to have a realization that you are in control of your thoughts and actions, as well as your own results. Everyone wants to attract abundance and money in their lives, but very few have successfully done so. Why? Because of their own negative beliefs in regards to money. This only happens when you are controlled by money. What you need to instill within yourself is that you are in control of your money and abundance. You should feel some excitement as well as hopefulness that money loves you and it is completely fine for you to love money. You need to keep your focus in striving for what you want and let go of all of those negative presumptions and assumptions. Here are five money magnet affirmations you can practice whenever you feel in doubt or are in the state of hopelessness. 1. I am a money magnet. 2. What I focus on expands. 3. I accept and expect abundance to easily flow within me. 4. Everything I wish for is within me. 5. I am in control of money. I am a money magnet. You need to practice the universal law of attraction wherever your thoughts and feelings create your reality. Remove any negative thoughts and mental blocks which can hinder you from accumulating the wealth you desire. You need to be ready and give permission to yourself to attract and become your own money magnet. Always remember that your subconscious mind can do wonders. When you program your subconscious positively, you can do and achieve whatever you want. What I focus on expands. Whether you can or you can't, you are right. Whatever your perception is towards money will eventually manifest. There is no doubt to two sides of each story, which applies to money as well. Yes, money can be the source of greed, and some may say the root of all evil, but it can also be the source of abundance and the medium to achieve your goals. It all depends on how you view and perceive money. If you focus on the negativity that money can bring, you will only attract negativity. However, if you focus on the endless opportunity that comes with money, you'll no doubt attract more wealth. I accept and expect abundance to easily flow within me. To start the new way of living, you must first accept a new way of thinking. Most people are still struggling with financial issues and they're not capable in creating the wealth that they want because they're simply not ready for it. You must believe and think that you are worthy of money. You are able to achieve what others achieve and accumulate your own wealth. When you observe successful people around you who have already achieved their wealth, remember that it is the sign of the universe. The universe is trying to tell you and show you that you too are capable of accumulating your own desired wealth. It's now your time to open up to new possibilities and let the power of abundance to flow within you. When you give permission to yourself to grow, everything is possible. 4. Everything I wish for is within me. 
You must be the change you want to see in the world. Everything that you wish for starts within yourself. You must be the change you want to see in the world. Everything that you wish for starts within yourself. When you change how you think, then you'll inevitably change how you feel as well as the actions that you take. You are capable of achieving the abundance you desire when you push yourself. It is the matter of doing and not only wishing something might happen. You have to start working on your goals. Start working on yourself and take action now to see the difference. 5. I am in control of money. The most important thing to note when you pursue your wealth is that you are in control of your money, not the other way around. When you have a clear understanding and control over your money, you will never misuse the money you have accumulated. The trick is to always be smart in managing your financial situation. Measure your accumulated wealth and set your priorities. Some people are blinded by the wealth that they have instantly accumulated and this is when their money controls them. This is why you always have to practice gratitude. Do not be overcome by greed and envy. This will not take you far. When you're grateful for what you have, this will attract more abundance. The universe will reward you with more of what you truly deserve. Start your subconscious programming. Repeat them all and have a sense of belief in everything you wish to pursue. Give yourself permission to work towards money and realize that nothing is holding you back but yourself. All the best, and here's to becoming a money magnet.